So you're finally in that situation where you're with your crush. Maybe you're just sitting near them or having a conversation, but something feels off. What could it be? They aren't very talkative and the conversation is drying up. Are they just flustered because maybe, just maybe they like you too? Or are they uncomfortable around you? Let's look into the signs that will tell you whether or not your crush feels uncomfortable around you. Fidgeting. Fidgeting can be a cute sign of nervousness or, according to psychologist Jonathan Carrier and colleagues, it can be a sign of inattentiveness and discomfort. So how do we know the difference between good and bad fidgeting? Good fidgeting can be playing with hair or other soothing motions, according to body language expert Joy Navarro's comprehensive dictionary of body language. When someone plays with their hair with their palms out, it's a sign of comfort in a social situation or public place. It could even suggest romantic attraction if done while speaking with someone. If they keep fixing or adjusting their hair, it's a sign that they're trying to attract someone they're interested in. Bad fidgeting is less flirtatious. Aside from discomfort, it can also be read as stress or boredom. These can be things like foot tapping and checking their phone. Awkward laughter. There are two common ideas that are at odds when it comes to laughing in social situations. If you're talking to your crush and they laugh at everything you say, it could either be because they are attracted to you or because they're uncomfortable. According to a 2009 study by Norman Lee and colleagues published in the Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin, we laugh more when we're attracted to someone. The difference between that laughter and the uncomfortable laughter is that it's genuine. If your crush is comfortable with you, they'll find things you say genuinely funny. Uncomfortable laughter is when they just laugh for a short duration of time. Sometimes not even laughing, they just exhale from their nose and smile politely. They don't add to the joke. They're laughing more as a courtesy. It can be tough to admit to yourself, but research by cognitive scientist Gregory Bryant and his colleagues shows us that we can tell the difference. This is because there is an entirely different vocal system used between the two kinds of laughs. That's why if your crush is uncomfortable, their laughter might sound forced. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Communication. Thinking back to an interaction with your crush. How was your communication? Don't just think about what your crush was saying, but rather how they were behaving. According to communication experts, Mark Knapp and Jeffrey Hall, there is a lot that goes into communication. The way we stand, where we look, and our vocal cues all affect our communication. We'll get more specific with body language and vocal cues later, but for now, the first sign you need to look out for is how the communication feels in general. Is your communication seamless, or does it feel like you and your crush have nothing much to talk about? Bear in mind, it's normal to feel awkward and tongue-tied around someone you like, especially if you want to impress them, but these next signs should shed light on if it's shared love or if your crush is genuinely uncomfortable. Distracted. They want to be distracted. They want someone to call them away or want something that unfortunately they find more interesting to come along. When something does steal their attention, they don't include you in it. If someone is comfortable with you, they would want to keep the conversation going or include you in something they find interesting. If a sport they like is on TV in the background, they'll point out what is happening and explain it to you. If they aren't comfortable with you, they might keep themselves fixated on the TV and won't try to talk to you about it. If they see someone they know, they'll use it as an excuse to get away. If they're comfortable with you, they'd want to introduce you to the person. Or if you know them too, ask you if you'd like to say hi to them as well. So now you've thought about what the general vibe is between the two of you and what their body is saying. But what are they saying with their words? Short, unenthusiastic responses. Signs of discomfort can also be signs of stress. Maybe they aren't comfortable, but just a little nervous because they like you too. But is there a verbal give and take or are you carrying the conversation? If their responses don't offer more insight into themselves or their true thoughts, it's a sign that they feel stuck in the conversation and don't really wanna be there. They may just agree with everything or be neutral on every topic. Of course, if you're asking very closed-ended questions, there isn't really much they can do about it. But even with closed-ended questions, they could respond with enthusiasm. 
Reading their tone will be extremely helpful in figuring out whether or not they're uncomfortable. And if they are uncomfortable, their tone will tell you if it's because they don't like you or they do like you, but they're shy. Each of these signs could mean anything. Maybe they're just nervous. Maybe they don't know how to flirt or maybe they're always shy. But if they're showing all of these signs, your crush might be uncomfortable around you. If you found this video informative, let us know in the comments. Leave a like on the 